Increasingly, science is discovering that some diseases may in fact be woven into our DNA. There are more than 20,000 genes in the human genome. In any two people, 99% are the same. It's the other 1% that affects our risk of disease. Now, in some cases, doctors can determine that risk through genetic testing, whether you have a higher probability of getting some diseases, including cancer. But would you want to know? Tonight, one family confronts that decision as we begin a special series, Your DNA Destiny. Gretchen Robertson felt like a ticking time bomb. And Pauline died of brain cancer. Elvira died of colon cancer. Her father had colon cancer and her grandmother died from it at just 45. So Gretchen got screened at 38. And it's a good thing she did. What did your first colonoscopy find? I had a 17 millimeter polyp that was cancerous. 38 just seemed just so young. But despite the family history, Gretchen couldn't get a colonoscopy on her brother John's to-do list. What was holding you back? Every time she asked me, I said, yeah, yeah, I'll get around to it one of these days. You know, anything that you don't want to do is easy to put off. Do you understand that now? But there was a new sense of urgency when Gretchen tested positive for a specific type of colon cancer that's hereditary, so now you're called Lynch syndrome. Harder. Having the gene, it just, you're more at risk more quickly. Lynch syndrome is caused by a genetic defect. If you have it, your chances of getting colon cancer go up to almost 80%. Lynch syndrome also causes the cancer to strike earlier, lowering the average age for diagnosis from 65 to 45. It's just one of some 1,300 diseases and disorders that can now be predicted with genetic testing. And for families like Gretchen's, this brave new world is a mixed blessing. Some of us have this curiosity to know everything we possibly can, and other people are not so interested in information that might have negative consequences. And there are other concerns associated with genetic testing. Gretchen and John have two other siblings who declined to be part of this interview, fearing their insurance companies would hold their DNA against them. But Gretchen thinks this critical information is cost effective. If you get a genetic test that shows you're at risk for things, you can prevent the cancer. What more could you ask for? The, the insurance companies won't get the bills for cancer treatment because the cancer won't develop. All right, tight fist. One month ago, John gave in. Here we go, little book. He decided to be tested for the gene. A simple blood test determines if he's a carrier. It's not nerve-wracking because now there's a sense of relief that I might not have the gene, whereas I felt I always did have the gene. So this may actually give you some relief that you're not destined to get colon cancer necessarily. Exactly. Yeah. Hi, John. Last week, John's results came in. So we've got the results back, and the results show that you do have the gene. I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. And though it's not guaranteed he'll get colon cancer, John now knows his odds have increased significantly. Genetic testing can tell you your risk, and knowing your risk allows you to take steps that could save your life. Take some nice deep breaths for me. The good news is colon cancer is 90% curable if found early, so John should now have a colonoscopy every year. His three children will need annual screenings, too, starting in their 20s, unless a genetic test proves they're negative. Luckily, Gretchen's colon cancer was treatable, but she's not taking any chances. Yesterday, knowing that Lynch syndrome increases her risk for other kinds of cancer, like endometrial and ovarian, she had a complete hysterectomy. In some ways, do you feel as if you've opened up Pandora's box? Do you ever say, what next? I, yes, I feel like, oh boy, this is really a lot. There are days it's very hard, but I look at my three kids and I think wouldn't my grandmother have given anything to have had this opportunity? To, to be screened for all these things once a year instead of the alternative. So that kind of keeps me going. Meanwhile, in Washington, there's a bill awaiting President Bush's signature that would prohibit discrimination based on your genetic information. It would allow you to have genetic testing without fear of losing your job or your health insurance.